Guys, you're not gonna believe this, but J Station did a thing that people didn't like. I'm not gonna talk about J Station's girlfriend dying and coming back to life because J Station resurrected her. I'm not gonna talk about the slave that Jay bought off the dark web who happened to be African-American because to a certain extent, Jay is pretty self-aware of what he's doing. The way Jay talks about this shit, he knows he's untouchable and that's how a lot of YouTubers feel. When you have this massive fan base, sure, the entire world can talk shit about you, but you'll still have this dedicated fan base backing you up, retweeting your tweets, liking your videos, commenting saying he didn't do anything wrong, you guys are haters. Keemstar came out with an entire drama alert dedicated to J Station, starting the hashtag stop J Station, talking about all the fucked up shit he's done, trying to talk to Mac Miller at 3 a.m. right after he passed, and J Station, in his pre-game prison jumpsuit, responded rather quickly. Let's watch this one together. What's good, guys? I just got done watching the brand new Keemstar. Damn, you know this video's serious when he doesn't hit you with the what's poppin', guys? Brand new Keemstar video. He just did a dedicated video on me. I feel very special. Big shout out to Keemstar for dropping that video, man. You just promoted like 20 of my videos. Thank you so much. I know you're my number one fan, bro. Why is it that when clowns get called out on YouTube, they almost all respond in the same exact way? Oh, bro, thanks for taking all that time to talk about me. Why, wow, you must really like me. That is the absolute weakest shit to respond with. Bro, this guy's obsessed with me. Was, was you wanna suck my cock? It's like, no. I'm calling you out on your bullshit, you fucking weirdo. Respond to what I'm talking about. In the video, he mainly just brought up the same old stuff that everybody just keeps on bringing up. Oh, JayStation did a Ouija board on two people. Basically, Keemstar's upset that I'm profiting off of people's death but I'm not actually doing that and I don't even make those kind of videos anymore. Don't you love when someone just trips over themselves a bunch and just starts adding more shit in their trail? The things he just said to defend himself is basically verbal crop dusting. Okay, Keemstar, talking about what everyone has talked about already, not acknowledging why might everyone be fucking talking about it, about how I only exploited two dead people. I would argue to say that one was too much, J Station. It's just... My opinion. So he's referring to a video about Mac Miller and XXX, and he did this with Etika, but he might say he didn't. The Zetika video was a bamboozle. He has since changed the title of that video. This is what it used to be. And in that video, he apologized for exploiting the dead. And he also mentions later in this Keemstar response that, hey, I donated money to Etika after his passing, which I'd like to just clarify that that doesn't give you a hall pass to make a fucking mockery of him. Then Jay says, I'm not profiting off of their death, but doesn't really go into detail about that. He just kind of says it. Profiting off of people's death. Which, that's, that's, that's a good defense. And then he comes back and he's like, yeah, and I don't even make those videos anymore. So, shut up. Stupid. Now I want to be like, hmm, can't wait to report your death. <laughs> I mean, YouTuber beef and all, that's kind of low, man. I wouldn't wish death on any one of my enemies. But it seems Keemstar just can't wait for his enemies to die so he can make a video and make money off of them dying. This is like the scumbag calling the kettle a scumbag. Is that all that saying goes? I'm not here to defend Keemstar, but you, did you bring up that whole thing to say, well, yeah, Keemstar also profits off of people's death. I'm not much of a yoga guy, but... That's a bit of a stretch. And just to be clear, I didn't make any money off of those Ouija board videos that I did. In fact, when Etika died, I donated $5,000 to his family, which Keemstar even still trash talk. Jay, what you're showing us here is a receipt, right? Those help when you're saying shit. So why did you not give us a receipt for the other things you just said? You have to understand when you say, I didn't make any money on those videos. And then also, in the span of like 10 seconds, bring up the Etika video again, where you also said in there, hey, and whatever ad revenue I get from this video, I'm gonna donate it to Etika. And if I look right here, it says you got $2,000 in ad revenue from that video. So that kind of means you lied. Do you or do you not make money off these types of videos? You're kind of skimming over a lot of the things that you've been accused of. Keemstar is the one who actually killed Etika. He's the actual cause of Etika's death. He actually killed a guy, all right? I like that lawyering you got there in the bottom left. This guy has been talking smack about me for so freaking long. Not only me, but like tons of other YouTubers. I'm guessing he just wants all these YouTubers to kill themselves so he can make a video about it and profit that moolah. Holy fuck the flexibility. Here's what he said after I called him out to fight. I'm not getting in any ring with you, Mr. Irrelevant. My monthly views is like 50, 60 million. You're sitting right here at 13 million views right now, bro. That means I'm like 14 times more relevant than you, bro. J Station becomes a mathematician at 3 a.m.? What's up, guys? Back I can't really speak for Keemstar, but I'm assuming he meant that you're not irrelevant 
analytics wise you're irrelevant to every normal adult we don't watch your content i mean we all have children fans but if i was a betting man and putting 200 on black j station has the real nine-year-old army sorry pewds hope you're enjoying vacation just look in the comments on any vid they're like dude oh my god aren't you scared i would be because I'm 12. So I'm going to call you out again, bro. Let's get in the ring and fight. You can come down here to Toronto and I'll beat your ass in front of thousands of people. So, new hashtag, fight J Station. If you guys want to see us go, man. Stop with the fights. Where the Dobre brothers tell Cody Ko, hey, let's get in the ring. Come on. But Cody Ko's not going to fight you. Same shit with this. Jay, you know he's not going to fight you. Stop trying to hype up all the preteens in your audience. Like, oh my God, Daddy's going to fight? Jay Nation's going to kill Keemstar. Then we're going to call him at 3 a.m. And then we're gonna hang up and say, fuck you, stay dead. Teamstar and me are like probably the two most hated YouTubers on this whole entire website. So I think it would be the best fight possible. I love that right there, the subtle drag down. Come on, Keem. People hate both of us a lot, like similarly, like equal. We're like, we're, we're like right here. You can't even get 400,000 views on a vlog video. Like nobody actually cares about you. They just care when you talk about Jake Paul and Logan Paul, bro. It's actually pretty funny, man. You're that irrelevant yourself. Keemstar is pretty irrelevant. You gave away three cars and you could only pull 400k views, bro. That's sad, man. That's sad. What? YouTuber made a slightly different type of video and didn't get the views he usually does? I guess you're the only YouTuber who's exempt from that, Jay. I mean, if we... Well, probably just a one-off thing, you know. Uh, even Jordan missed. Throwing a dart at a map and buy him wherever it lands on. Bought my dream car. 290k views, huh? Hmm. I'm way more relevant than you. So, hashtag fight J Station. Let's get it. And this is the frame we're left with. This looks more like fight J Station off than it does fight J Station. You said this potion was fake, right? That was a dark joke to leave off on. I'm sorry. I'll, uh, let me put something else out there. Jay looks like a retired janitor prepping for community service. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And here is your second reminder to leave a like. Subscribe because I have more content coming your way. And as always, I am Mr. Gigi and I am out.